Howdy all, my name is James Etock and welcome to He-Man and She-Ra Friday Night Trivia on Serial Geek TV. With this weekly series, I showcase a piece of trivia that I've personally uncovered or stumbled upon over the last few decades. And anyone that knows my background with He-Man and She-Ra will be aware that I've uncovered a lot. And now for your enjoyment, I present to you... Censoring episode titles? Prior to even one single episode of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe seeing the light of day, parental groups such as the Action for Children's Television, fronted by Peggy Charon, were actively complaining about the show's violence and showcasing of evil. I mean, we all remember how evil the He-Man series was, right? That time the most powerful man in the universe pushed Skeletor to his death, or that time that Teela savagely cut off Beastman's head? Their accusations bordered on the absurd given that not one single episode had even aired. Understandably, in order to avoid some negative press, Filmation performed some self-censorship with the aid of Donald F. Roberts, the educational and psychological consultant who never sought to neuter the show and did his utmost to keep the adventures of He-Man and She-Ra as entertaining as possible. However, it was agreed that the episodes Reign of the Monster God, The Demon and The Treacherous Cousin had their titles altered to Reign of the Monster, Daymar the Demon and The Royal Cousin. I would argue that The Royal Cousin was a far better title as The Treacherous Cousin kind of gives away the twist in the episode. I mean, certain scenes still did slip through that would have no doubt caused Peggy Charon and her ilk to be up in arms, had they caught them that is. I hope you enjoyed that little piece of trivia. Now it is time for us to take a look at the He-Man and She-Ra production artwork of the week. And that's it for this week, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you next Friday.